right, Chris, you are tearing the cover off the ball. It is so nice to see once again this spring. What's been the difference for you? Oh, I think it's my weight um, and, and just my overall strength. Um, I feel good in the box right now. I don't feel like I'm trying to do too much. I think that was kind of a, a common theme over the last couple of years, just um, trying to generate power and, and trying to overswing. It created a lot of issues for me. And, um, you know, it helps when you have, uh, have a little bit of wind, as you can see. Um, not the kind of wind we have today, but, um, you know, I, I feel good. I, I don't feel like I'm trying to do too much. I feel like I'm uh, aggressive and ready to hit. Um, from the first pitch, and it's nice to see some results, that's for sure. Chris, let's talk about the shape you're in. I mean, 25 pounds of muscle this off season. I, I, I love to work out. I need some <laughs> tips, you know, can you, can you tell me, how'd you do it, you well, know, what's your workout? Like? There, there's some fat in there too. I mean, there's some, it's not all muscle, uh, unfortunately, but um, a lot of it was just uh, having a chance to kind of um, take a step back, take a deep breath, um, get some good rest uh, once the season ended and, and then get back on the weight training. Um, that's that's really kind of been my forte early on in my career and uh, something that I got away from over the last couple of years. But I wanted to get back to um, to lifting heavy weights, moving around, doing some of the stuff that I've done in the years that has given me, I guess, just a better feel overall. And um, and I'm definitely not counting carbs, that's for sure. <laughs> Why bother? Why bother? Right? You, you talk about the end of the season taking a step back. You've been open about how at the end of last season you talked to your wife and you said, I think I might be ready to hang it up. Why is that? How did you get to that point? Um, I mean, I think it was just a, a combination of uh, struggling over the last couple of years and, and obviously the club um, going in a different direction with the rebuild and um, knowing that I'm, I'm the only um, player contracted after, uh, after this year or maybe I think Cobb might be the other guy, but um, for the most part, it's a younger team. Uh, and it, it wasn't something that I was really uh, dead set on. It was just something that I wanted to at least uh, explore. You know, I think every player at some point in their career um, starts to kind of look over the fence and, and think about life after baseball. And that's really all it was. And honestly, the best thing about it was that it really, really made me realize how much I still want to play and how much uh, I feel like I have left to give. Yeah. Your manager said he wanted you to be more aggressive this spring. Mm -hmm. Is that something that, that you think has helped you? How are you targeting that? Yeah, I do. I do. And I think it's it's not just being aggressive, but being ready to hit, you know, as soon as I leave the on-deck circle. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's really the kind of hitter I've been throughout my career. And, and over, the, over the last few years, I, I feel like I've just taken a lot of pitches, a lot of called third strikes, um, and just letting too many balls go by without putting a good swing on them. So I think that's... That's contributed, obviously, to the success, and I'm hoping to keep that up. You know, uh, Chris, look, the, the team is young. Yeah. There's a lot of young guys out there, a lot of turnover, but they look up to you as the leader of the ball club, not only because of the fact that you've been in the league for a long, but you've been an Oriole for yeah. a long, long time. So if there is an Oriole way, you, you got it. You know, do you take that responsibility uh, seriously? No doubt, no doubt, and I understand that, um, you know, the guys that came before me, the, the guys' numbers who are on the wall, I mean, they're, they're there for a reason. And um, you talk about the Oriole way. It's not just um, how, you play the, how you play the game, but how you carry yourself, um, how you conduct yourself off the field, um, doing interviews, um, handling the media, talking to the fans, uh, being in the clubhouse, being at events, being out in the community and present. I mean, there's a lot that goes into that. And, um, you know, we have a good group of guys. They're definitely young, but um, they've been receptive and, and they're not shy to ask questions or anything like that. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing some more young faces this year. You talk about being out in the community. We have seen you out in the community and doing so much great work, especially the work that you and your wife do with the local children's hospital, which is great to see. When you look at a team from the outside, when you look at the Baltimore Orioles, and you mentioned it, it's a rebuilding team. What are the difficulties in just the day to day on being in a team that everyone's looking at as, well, they're just rebuilding? Yeah, I think that's, to me, that's probably the biggest challenge is not to fall into that mindset of, okay, we're just rebuilding. It's okay to, you know, to take today off or, or to not expect to, to compete today. That, that can't be your mindset uh, ever. And I think it's even more important for a young team to go out there and prove themselves every day. Um, and that's, that's really how you learn uh, how to win as a group. I mean, you have to go through some of the rough, rough years to get uh, – to the postseason, to, to be in a postseason type of team, and um, it's just a it's just a mentality that you have to learn, and uh, that's probably the hardest hardest thing. 
So you're getting there and you're tearing the cover off the ball. How good do you feel right now? I feel really good. I feel really good. <laughs> I'm not lying. I, I mean, I'm. I wouldn't mind if we started the season tomorrow. Okay. You know? yeah. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> right. Let's go, man. We got like 25 more days, but just yeah, keep yeah. it going. Yeah. Keep it going. Thanks. All right. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Thanks, yeah. Chris.